So, have you always lived in Augusta, Georgia? No. Okay. How did you end up here? A uh, job. Okay. So, for me, I've always lived here. I just live right up the road. Um, our house is a single family home. It's like two story, five bedroom kind of house. Could you describe what kind of home you live in? Uh, right now? Mm -hmm. uh, one bedroom, well, actually, two bedroom apartment. Okay. Um, so, have you ever invested in solar, either rooftop for your home on your property, or as part of a business, or as part of a program through your unit? No, I have not. So, why do you not have rooftop solar? Like, was it never an option? Like, did you. Uh, I've never been approached about it. Okay. Um, so for you being a renter, would, if that was available to you, would you be more willing to have it? Like say the people who you're renting the house from come down and say, hey, we're going to add rear shops all over this place. What would you think about it? Uh, I would research, um, I'd research it and see if it's, you know. Better option. So I'm going to talk about rooftop solar adoption in general. Um, so I'm going to get you, show you this map of the United States. And I want you to put an X or circle wherever you think rooftop solar is mostly adopted. That's the only way I said it. I don't know. Okay. So there's no right or wrong answer to okay. any of this. So it's just your preference. Um, so why do you think um, people in those communities choose rooftop solar? Um, one, I picked California because I know they're always trying to be very techy. Uh, Texas, I've actually been there, so I've seen it before. Um, Georgia, I've seen a lot of solar abuse with agriculture, mm -hmm. so that's why I picked those. So what do you, what kind of people do you think live in those communities? Uh, I say rural area farmers or uh, just people who live in the country. Okay. Um, why do you think those people in those areas have the most solar on their rooftops? Uh, land and like investment opportunities, or they can be using it for a trial or having their land contracted out. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing again, but with the state of Georgia. So just mark what counties or circle where you think. Um, this is Tifton, right? Right, mm -hmm. I think. right there, okay. Okay, so why do you think those counties are different from Augusta? Um, well, I've actually been to those counties when I worked for the uh, Department of Ag, and I've noticed when I had inspections for cattle or any type of large farms that they had solar over there. Okay. Um, so what kind of people do you think live in those uh, counties? Farmers, farmers. yeah. Um, so why do you think people in those counties were more willing to adopt solar versus other counties? Um, I guess maybe the opportunity, uh, maybe they're trying to transition to save money or become more eco-friendly. Okay. Um, so what about your close friends in the state of Georgia? Do they have solar? Uh, no, not that I have any. Why do you think they do or don't? Mm. I don't know if they've been approached about it. Uh, I don't know if they've ever thought about it. Okay. Um, so now if you don't mind, we're gonna ask a few questions regarding the role of food in your day-to-day -day life. So if you could, please tell me what your regular day with food um, looks like for you. So what do your meals and snacks typically look like? Uh, for meals, I try to, I eat a lot of sandwiches uh, for lunch. Uh, sometimes I skip breakfast. If I do eat breakfast, it'll be Chick-fil-A. Um, dinner, I try to have some type of salad with it. Um, that's pretty much it. Okay. Um, so for me, being at home from school, I normally just skip breakfast, eat something at the house for lunch, and then dinner is like the biggest meal for me. So we'll cook something or go out and eat. So what would be your go-to meal and why? Uh, fettuccine Alfredo. Because it's probably one of my, I love pasta and I've gotten good at it. Um, so, how often do you cook your own meals? Ooh, twice a week, maybe. Um, so, being that you are the only person in your house, you're probably the only person that makes the decisions about food. So, when, so how often do you purchase food for your household? 
Um, so far, it's been twice a month for the household, yeah. Um, so, paint this picture for me. Let's say you're taking a trip to purchase food. What does that look like? Um, well, I have my list in my hand or on my phone, and I try to stick to that if I don't get distracted by anything else. Um, water, first thing usually I get, and then toiletries, cleaning supplies, and then my food. So when it comes to feeding yourself, what are some challenges you might face? Uh, consistent with um, a healthy diet. When I eat out, I think I ruin that versus sticking to the cooking.